Yeah, neighbors fed up over flooding still near their homes nearly three weeks after Hurricane Milton. Yeah, people living on Lake Bonnie and Lakeland, they're being vocal about this. They're telling leaders that they do need more help. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelisa Bruton is one, one of those flooded neighborhoods tonight. And Angelicia, tonight there are extra resources that are out there drying things out. Yeah, Courtney, the city of Lakeland says they're working with several agencies to help alleviate flooding. Now, just a few days ago, the U.S. Um, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers installed two pumps in this area to help alleviate flooding by moving water out of this community. But neighbors tell me they are still frustrated that this is their reality every time they walk outside. Things are starting to dry out at Pamela Smith's home. The water is out of the inside of our house. We still have three feet of water in our backyard. As things dry out, the reality of how much damage was done is sinking in. It's just hard. She says she feels abandoned. Nothing's getting done. It is it is like watching paint dry. N nothing's getting done. She wants to know what resources are available to help get her community back on their feet. What part is the city, the county, Swift Mutt? What part? What what part are they going to play in helping us rebuild and and move into the next phase? People who live at the Bonnie Shores Mobile Home Park are asking the same questions. They're out in a hotel or with a friend. That's what a lot of people are doing because they have no choice. The American Red Cross says they are bringing lunch every day to the senior community. Residents are thankful, but believe more needs to be done from local officials. To shower, we have to go somewhere else, but to go to the bathroom, they have the porta, porta potties up there. So, but whew, it's very difficult. Neighbors say they've seen the water slowly rise since Hurricane Debbie. They say it's not only stressful, but expensive. It's like they don't care about us at all. We're just money, and um, I just think it's totally wrong that they, you know, did not help to even alleviate this way before two more hurricanes came. Neighbors tell me that they've been getting help from local businesses and relief groups. The city says they have a variety of resources. And one thing I've heard today from residents is that the county is just one of many groups that is working to install a comfort station on Wednesday. I reached out to the county to confirm this, and I've not heard back. Live in Lakeland, Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay.